I wasn't going to say that this feels weird because I'm still filming content on other apps. But some for some reason, this does feel weird. I don't know, it's the whole camera setup. It's just, there's more to it when it comes to YouTube. So yeah, it feels weird, but here we are. Um, it's been a long time. I don't actually know how long it's been since I've last uploaded a video. It's been too long. And I really didn't think that that was going to happen. I... I don't know, it just fizzled out and I thought that as soon as I'd go on mat leave, hang on, before I waffle on, there might be some new people here, so that's just me being rude and just sort of going into, you know, assuming that you know me. Let's just, for the people, if you're new here and you don't know me, then I am Holly, obviously you know my name, um, because it's... Yeah, whatever. Uh, can you see I'm being awkward because I just, I'm so out of practice. Um, and my laptop sounds like it's about to take off. So I hope you can't hear that. Um, yeah, so I'm Holly. I'm 27. I have just had, well, I say just had, almost a year ago, had a baby girl. And basically what I was saying was, what I was about to say was, um, you know, when I, before I went on mat leave, I was saying, you know, I'm going to have so much time to film content, I'm going to vlog all the time, like, there's just going to be so much stuff to film, like, I've got all this time off work, because usually I work um, full time in the city, and um, I find it hard to sort of film content when I'm at work, so obviously my thought process was, I'm going to be off work, I'm going to have loads of time to film, Yes, in a way, but I have just become a first time mum. So I sort of vlogged for a little bit. I did do a few vlogs, but it soon sort of dwindled off. And that was purely because I just didn't feel the urge to want to pick the camera up. And that's just me being completely honest. There were days when we wasn't really doing much, you know, when Harper was little, we would just have days at home. And, you know, I was really just soaking up that time being at home and doing nothing because my days are so get up, go, rush, rush, rush. You know, like I said, I work in London, so it's, you know, wake up at the crack of dawn, get ready, go and catch a train, get to work, and then rush to catch the train back home again, eat dinner, chill for a bit, sleep, and then repeat. So to me, to have all this time off, I was just soaking it up and obviously learning to be a mum. So yeah, I guess I was a bit naive thinking that I was gonna just sort of, I don't know, just vlog my life away and you know, whatever, but it didn't work out like that, so that's why I've sort of dwindled off, and I, I have been filming content on other platforms, which I'm grateful I have, because a part of me is like, oh, I kind of wish I had those videos to look back on, but I do in a way, just in a shorter form, on other apps, so, you know, I have still been putting content out there, but it's just, I find that YouTube is a lot more in-depth, it takes a lot of time to edit, film upload, film edit upload, yeah, it's just a longer process. So for me, it just didn't work and I didn't feel the urge to want to pick up the camera and I was never going to force myself. I always said, if I ever get that feeling of like not being bothered to film, that's a sign to sort of, you know, put the camera away for a bit and just sort of wait till I get that feeling back again. Anyway, without rambling on, for too long, because this is just a Q&A video to sort of ease myself back into it. Um, I do feel ready now. I feel, you know, I do feel like I want to start again. And it's almost a year, like I said. Um, she'll be one next month. Almost, yeah, a month. What is the date today? Yeah, literally, it's the 17th. So, one month. She was born on the 16th of May, so yeah, in a month she'll be one, which is crazy. 
So, yeah, I now feel ready um, and I will be going back to work. There's a lot of questions. Obviously, I asked over on my Instagram to ask some questions because someone said, oh, why don't you do like a Q&A as your first video back? So I, I put a question box up on my Instagram story and a lot of the questions were work-related. I think because a lot of you lot follow me, followed me when I was working and you could, I filmed a lot of my days in the lives at work and I think you know what my day-to-day -day sort of looks like and I think you're all sort of like, are you going to go back to that? Like, what's, give us the lowdown. So, yeah, um, let's get into the questions. So, the first, I mean, a lot of them are the same so I'll, I'll try not to go over the same ones but I'll just start from the top and work my way down are you still going to work in London after mat leave I feel like there's a few of them are you going back to work and when so yes I am going back to work in London I'm going back to the same job that was another question that someone asked um, and I am going back uh, it will be the end of May, so we'll get Harper's birthday out of the way, which is nice to know, because I think before I went on that leave, obviously I was saying about when I'm going to go back to work before I'd even gone off, I said that my um, return to work would roughly be, I think, did I say March? I think it was March, which was like nine months off maybe. That was when I thought I'd have to go back. Um, however, I've been able to stay off longer, technically over a year, because I went off end of April last year, and I'm not going back till end of May, so I've actually, I'm actually going to have over a year off, um, which I'm so grateful for, because I, like I said, I thought I would only be able to have nine months off um, financially, really, um, because, you know, mat leave pay and all that jazz it's um yeah it's tough it's you know you don't get paid a lot but fortunately I've had a lot of um brand deals and stuff whilst I've been on mat leave I can't believe how much work I've had on mat leave I wasn't expecting it I think I in my head I sort of hoped that I would be able to do a lot more brand deal work whilst being off um and yeah a lot of the opportunities I've had have just just come to me and I'm very lucky and very grateful because it's it's allowed me to have longer on mat leave that's that's straight up how it how it's happened that's why I've had been able to have longer because obviously your money runs out a lot of you probably know your money your money stops after so long and you get nothing, you don't get paid anything, nothing from the government, nothing from your work, zero. And um, yeah, obviously I've had a lot of brand work that's been able to sort of allow me to live and stay at home. So yeah, I'm very, very happy about that and um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the amount of time I've had off and I'm happy that we're going to have Harper's birthday and then I can worry about going back to work. But yeah, I'm going back to work in London. I am going back five days a week, which is a shock to a lot of people, I think, when I say that. When I say I'm going back to London and I'm going back five days a week, everyone's faces are like, what? Are you crazy? And that's just purely because I would love to drop a day and I I know someone did ask me um, the other day on Instagram, you know, like, could you not drop a day? Does your brand deal work not cover, like, will not make up for the day that you lose? And yes, it would, but... It's so confusing and I, d I don't even know if I want to go into it all to be honest but cut a long story short, the train fare is very expensive from where I travel from and 
I would basically still be paying that train fare even if I was to drop a day because even if I was to pay for... I can't pay for a daily ticket because it's just way too expensive. Weekly is too expensive. So annually is the cheapest way. And basically an annual ticket monthly works out £600 a month. So if I drop a day, I'm still paying £600 a month. And then obviously the brand deal work, you know, that is very inconsistent. I can't guarantee that it's, it's jobs are going to come to me. So that's a risk. So basically, I'm not going to go into it, but that is why. Um, I'm going to sort of trial it out, see how things go when I go back to work, because I don't know how things are going to be. And then I'm going to go from there. So I'm not going to jump the gun. I'm just going to go back five days a week, see how it goes. If I don't like it, if I think it's too much, the days are too long, then, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Someone said, how do you find getting out and about on your own with your baby? Do you know what? I don't... I, I find it okay at the minute. It depends where we go. I mean, if you're just popping out, absolutely fine. Um, I did struggle at first with sort of taking her on car journeys on my own. I feel like that's a hard one for every parent, going out on your own with your baby in the car. Um, and we sort of try and line it up with her nap times. Sorry if the lighting's going... Um, really bright and then really dark it's just because the sun keeps coming in and out um, and it's just coming through the windows so yeah I struggled um, sometimes taking her out in the car on my own because if she didn't nap I tried to line it up with her nap times but if she didn't nap when she was supposed to then obviously that would make it a little bit difficult I remember one time I drove to my friend my friend's house who lives an hour away um, and I left when Harper was due her first morning nap and Harper decided that she didn't want to sleep yet and there was loads of traffic so it took me an hour and a half to get there and Harper ended up falling asleep the last 15 minutes I think it was of the journey so she was awake for most of it on and off whinging and that was really tough because it was raining there was traffic, I was being diverted down all these country lanes, she's whinging in the back, so yeah, it is a lot, um, but we got through it, I got there, <laughs> and on the way home, she fell asleep for most of the journey, so that was good, but yeah, that, I find that's the hardest, getting out and about, as in, you know, just chucking her in the pram and going, yeah, that's fine, when she was little, I'm just trying to think back, I find it was easier when she was little, I feel like it's harder now she's older. Just because when she was little, she just, I don't know, she just was content. She would just sleep or, you know, um, yeah, just be a bit more content, content. But now she's older, she's a bit whingier. And Harper's not very good at, sorry, I'm drying my throat out here. I need to have a sip of my coffee. Harper's not very good at napping in the pram. And I think that's partly my fault. Because when she was little, probably where I didn't, I didn't get out enough. Or I was getting out, but I would come home for her nap times. So I got her so used to napping in her cot. So now that when we're out and it's her nap time, she won't nap. She'll be so tired, but she just would not nap in that. I mean, sometimes she will. But most of the time, she will be so tired, but she just still won't nap in the pram. She just can't shut off. I just think she doesn't know that that's... To her, that's just not her sleeping space. And I wish now that I'd done a mixture of the two. Like, had nap times at home. Sorry. And then also had nap times in her pram whilst being out and about. But never mind. That's just something I'll do for the next baby, hopefully. Um, that was another question. Any more babies? Yes, I would love to have one more. I think me and Harry would be happy with two. He says that he would be happy with just Harper. But I said, absolutely not. She needs a sibling. Um, just because when we're older and, you know, she's on her own, she needs someone. So, yeah, I'd be happy to have one more. 
Um, and I, there was another question as well that said about age gap. Like, what age gap would you, would you have? Um, yeah, what age gap would you like between your children in an ideal world? So, for me, personally, I would be happy with quite a big age gap. So, I'd be happy to wait until Harper's, like, four. I think four maximum. And then have another one. I just really want to enjoy Harper growing up on her own for a little bit. And then I quite like the fact that she would hopefully be able to understand at that age that there's another baby coming into the mix. And... She could almost take on the lead of being a bit of a helper um, and she would be a little bit more independent. That's what I like to think anyway. So that's, yeah, that's the sort of age gap that I would like. And also for myself as well, like I just want to get myself back to feeling myself and enjoy not being pregnant and not, having a baby baby for a, for a little while whereas I know some people like to just sort of have them all so close together get it done almost and then enjoy getting yourself back to normal and yeah obviously them being so close in age but no for me I'm quite happy to have a bit of an age gap so yeah also childcare. um Harper will be going to my mum which I'm so grateful for again because the cost, the childcare costs, as I've heard on TikTok and stuff like that, what people are having to pay for childcare is crazy. Like crazy money. Um, so yeah, I'm very lucky that my mum and dad will be having Harper full time because they are retired, they retired early and they've been wanting to do this for so long. Um, and it will be a lot for them. And I do think that that sort of worries me a little bit. But I think because there's two of them, that will help. I think it was if it was just like my mum, then that would be a lot. But I think because there's my mum and my dad, that will definitely make it easier. But and that makes me feel a bit easier about going back to work as well. I think if I was going back to work and then having to leave her with um, like a nursery or a childminder, then that would make me feel really anxious about going back, I think. But yeah, my mum was actually a childminder for like 20 years, longer than 20 years. Because when I was a baby, she didn't want to go back to work and leave me with someone else. So she became a childminder so she could look after me and then, um, like, ha obviously be with me all the time and be at home and then obviously have other babies. So she is well experienced. Someone also said, how do I feel about going back? I feel a mix of emotions, I think, now. Obviously, now it's getting closer. You might as well say a month in a month's time, I'm going back. I feel... I'm looking forward to it because it's... I don't know, it's just going to be a whole life change. Like, having this year off has been a whole life change. Like, the freedom that I have now, like, yeah, it's just so different to what I was doing before. And, I mean, every mum can say that because it is such a life change. Like, you're at home all the time with this new little person. You've got all the time in the world, all the freedom in the world. You're just almost in a bubble, really. And I feel like now or soon, I'm going to have to go back to the reality. I feel like I'm living in a dream world at the minute, but I'm going to have to go back to reality. And that's what frightens me because I just think I'm going to miss her so much. I'm going to like, is she going to realise that I'm gone for so long? Because it's long days. You know, it's like, depending on what shift I'm on and stuff like I don't know it's just gonna be long days but I feel like I don't want to think about it too much because I just don't know what to I don't know what it's gonna be like and it might be better than I thought and then I would have just wasted so much of my energy worrying when actually it's not that bad so I try not to think about it too much because it is just the unknown I don't know what it's gonna be like um, 
but yeah, my my sort of first worry is like I'm gonna miss out on doing lots with her. Like I'm only gonna see her for a very short amount of time in the week. Um. So yeah, it's a mixture at the minute, mixture of emotions. Someone said, has your relationship changed since having a baby? I would say no, not really. I mean, you do bicker about certain things like who's more tired or who's done more. So yeah, you bicker about certain things like that. But, and I guess obviously you there's less... Um, you know, like, you can't spontaneously go out. Like, me and Harry used to spontaneously go out of an evening for dinner or, I don't know, just popping out. Like, you just can't do that now. Like, you know, like, late at night when you fancy, I don't know, like, a sweet treat or something and you you just say, oh, you know, should we just jump in the car and go and get something? Whereas, like, now it's, like, one of us has to go <laughs> and bring it back. So, yeah, that's obviously changed. Like, the sort of spontaneous freedom that you get oh my memory card is that my memory card's gonna run out i can't even remember now what these things mean it's flashing red at me yeah my memory card just ran out of storage there's so many old clips on this memory card i was just flicking through to delete load and um, they were all for like when i was pregnant um and i was obviously filming a video when i was pregnant and yeah they were all like old old videos what was i saying Oh yeah, relationship changing. So yeah, no, I wouldn't say it's changed. I do feel like we've got stronger. Um, but no, like I don't, you know, I feel like we're so happy. Obviously we have days where we argue and bicker. I think it's a lot when you're at home all day and you've had a bit of a a bit of a tough day, like if Harper's been a bit whingy or, you know, it's just been a full on day. And then obviously they come home, you almost take it out on them a little bit. And the same goes for him. Like if he's had a crap day at work, he'll come home and, you know, we'll we'll bicker with each other over silly things. And um, yeah, obviously that's always been, even before Harper, that was always, <laughs> you know, we did that then. So actually speaking of that, us, the first few months... I would say you almost, um, I see a lot of this on TikTok, you do go through that sort of roommate stage um, where you do feel like, almost like passing chips in the night really, because um, you're so focused on this baby and obviously early days of being postpartum and stuff like that, it's, yeah, you, the baby really takes up all your time and energy. So... Yeah, but then, you you know, you sort of have date nights. We try to have a couple date nights together and go out without Harper. I would leave Harper with my mum. And uh, I think that's important as well to do that. I think I remember doing that quite early on, actually. I think we went to cinema one night and just left Harper. She was a baby baby then because she was just sleep. She slept the whole time, I think, at my mum's. Um we went and did that and just we've not done many date nights to be honest when thinking back like thinking back to it but it is important to do that definitely you do need that time together and lastly like I said a lot of these questions were work related so I've kind of narrowed it all down I suppose you're just also intrigued about work because that's what I filmed a lot of the time before I had Harper someone said is the house that I'm in at the minute uh, forever home no, I wouldn't say it's our for, for, why can't I, forever home, <laughs> why can't I get my words out, no it's not, it's, it's got the potential to be, I think, well I don't know, actually no, I don't think it has, <laughs> um, it's a three bed, and obviously at the minute we've got our room, Harper's room, and then the box room, which is like Harry's office room, yeah, I guess you could, bring up another baby here but I just feel like we would outgrow the space like thinking like I don't know having two children's stuff in this house I just you could do it don't get me wrong but it would just feel a bit cluttered I think and it's definitely got the potential to have an extension which is something we was going to do um we got the plans done and everything like roughly not 
properly. Well, no, I guess they were properly, but one of our friends did it, so we didn't like pay for it to be done or anything. So we could sort of see the vision, but it's a lot of um, it's a lot of money to sort of have. I don't know. You got, there's there's so many steps to go through before actually having the extension. So we soon scrapped that because we were just like, there's a lot of money to lay out up front before we actually start. So it's something that we could potentially do um, and it would make the house a lot bigger. But I don't know. I think Harry said he would rather move than go through all that building work and all that ag of getting like permission and all that stuff. So I don't know. We say that we're going to wait till Harper's before she goes secondary school would probably look to move who knows I, I i feel like these things just happen like that so i feel like you can't really plan it because you know we could end up moving way before them but then my parents are here so we wouldn't i don't know it's not our forever home but um i think we will be here for a for a little while so that is everything they are all the questions like I said, I didn't get loads. It was just about work mainly. And I think that's going to be a big part of like going forward, like documenting how I'm feeling going back to work. And that's what I'm quite looking forward to because I've realised now being a mum myself, there's we're all in the same boat. Like if you're a first time mum, we are all in the same boat. Like there's so many mums out there that are so anxious to go back to work. And I think... I want to bring the content of Eva. I don't know, just just real honest content about going back to work. And I'm going back to work as a full time mum, and I find that a lot of people go back. You know, they're anxious to go back, but they're only going back two days a week, three days a week. And I know that's still hard, but I feel like five days a week. That's you know, it's a lot. So I'm just gonna try and document my honest journey of going back to work as a full-time working mum <laughs> so yeah we'll see how it goes but thank you for watching it does feel good to be back and I hope that I can continue to you know I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself because that's when it will get tough so we'll see how it goes we'll go with the flow and hopefully I can bring you regular content. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully it won't be too long until the next video.